Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Norbash, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Barrington Orthopedic Specialist. I am fellowship trained in hip and knee reconstructive surgery. This means that after I finished my residency and completed my boards, I did an extra year of study focusing my training on hip and knee replacement surgery. Throughout the year, I attend courses so that as medicine and technology evolve, my practice does as well. I am amazed at how many people have different ideas about what a knee replacement is. The knee joint is where two large bones come together. Where the two bones touch, the surface of the bone is smooth, rounded, and padded with soft cartilage. Arthritis is damaged to the soft cartilage. The joint surface becomes rough, and the cartilage cushion is damaged and often missing. The purpose of a knee replacement surgery is to restore a smooth surface on the end of the bone with metal and to replace the worn or missing cushion with plastic. We remove very little of the bone, only about 8 to 10 millimeters, and replace the bone we remove with 8 to 10 millimeters of smooth, shiny metal. Knee replacement surgery provides pain relief and can restore function in people suffering with arthritis of the knee. A computer-assisted knee replacement surgery differs from a traditional knee replacement surgery in how the surgery is performed. Computer-assisted knee replacement surgery uses special tracking devices attached to the patient that communicate with a large computer in the operating room to help analyze the size of the patient's knee, the knee motion, and any deformity present with digital accuracy. The computer then provides digital feedback to make accurate bone cuts that allow me to position the implants correctly to restore function. Traditional knee replacement surgery is performed without the computer and uses analog measuring devices to help cut the bone and position the implants. Numerous published scientific studies have shown that computer-assisted surgery is more accurate in placing the implants in the knee compared to traditional knee replacement surgery. We hope that more accurate placement of the implant will help the knee replacement last longer. There is some early data that shows that when the implant is more accurately placed, the patients are less likely to need a second knee surgery. I have been using the computer to assist me in surgery for over 10 years on over a thousand patients with good success. Patients who need knee replacement surgery complain of pain and swelling in the knee that limits their activity, wakes them up at night, and does not improve with medication, therapy, or injections. Climbing stairs is difficult for patients with severe knee arthritis. First, we have to make sure that the patient is a candidate for knee replacement surgery. I will ask a number of questions about your quality of life and the previous treatments that you have tried. I will examine your knee and I will review radiographs or x-rays of your knee looking for evidence of arthritis. I will discuss non-surgical treatment options for knee arthritis to make sure that you have exhausted all of your non-surgical treatment options. If all of the non-surgical treatment options have been exhausted and I have found you a surgical candidate I will thoroughly discuss the surgical procedure and will explain the potential risks and complications of a computer-assisted knee replacement procedure. Knee replacement surgery is a painful procedure, but I use a variety of medications and nerve blocks to provide my patients with the best post-operative pain relief. After surgery, it is essential that you actively participate in therapy to get the best results. I tell my patients that in order to get the best results after surgery, we both have to give 100%. I will do my best in surgery, and I need you to do your best in therapy. As I mentioned earlier, computer-assisted knee replacement surgery has been around for over 10 years. 
Some companies have started building on this technology and have added a mechanized device to help cut the bone using the information about the patient stored in the computer. I have been following this technology closely. The use of the robot in joint replacement surgery is relatively new. As a long-time computer user in surgery, I feel that I'm well positioned to begin using the robot in surgery once there has been sufficient data on the safety, and I feel that the system will benefit my patients. I do not just start using products on my patients because a company spends a lot of money advertising directly to patients about how good their product is. I need to know it's good before I will use it on my patients. To learn more about computer-assisted knee replacements, please visit our website. Thank you for choosing Barrington Orthopedic Specialists.